Okay, first we're going to start with kanji check. Do you know how this guy's read? It's read uh, kyu, kyo, kyo na. Your first guess was correct. Kyu, kyu na. What did kyu mean in this context? Kyu, kyu na kaidan wo. It's a steep, it's a steep Perfect. staircase. Nice. And how about this word? Oh, to float. Nu. Nugabiyo. Nugabiyagaru. Ukabiyagaru. So ukabu is to float. Ukabiyagaru's meaning is a little bit different. Do you know how it's a little bit different? It's to um to become to to emerge out of yeah exactly to emerge out of something up. perfect perfect okay so we left off with the main character ending up on a certain odoriba and crouching down and peering forward and then pulling himself backwards right as soon as he looked in looked out toward the darkness um so right now we have a sentence for you to read um and it is a sentence in the past. So it has nothing to do with what we're currently reading. Hi. Mezasu doa o nukeruto daremo inai hiroi hiro hiro mai hiro mai ni da hi hiro ma data. So no e. Does hiro ma Hiroma, Hiroma. You know what a Hiroma is? Hiroma is a Y space, meaning a hallway yes. or a, a banquet well, hall. Well, probably not a hallway. Um, hallways are narrow spaces normally. They're they're long, but they're normally pretty narrow. That's what makes it a hallway, right? A uh, Hiroma yes. should be pretty wide on all sides. So a ballroom. So it's a. Uh, Entrance Open of certain, room. yeah, some some large room. Um, awesome. Um, can you read this for me? Zawatsuku. Hey, so zawatsuku is to be noisy. Can you read this for me? To be noisy. Da 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 hiroi. Hmm. Can you try reading that hiragana? Da da biroi. Hi. But it looks like it's actually piroi. I don't know why I wrote B there. Uh, da, 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 da. I'm going to quickly change that. Do, do, do. Oh. So da da piroi. Do you, know, have, da, do you have any idea what da da piroi means? Da 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 piroi. Piroi was wide. Yes. And this is and modifying da, it. Is... Do you think this is going to mean super wide or not very wide? What would be your guess? Or normal wide? I'm thinking die as in large, like the yeah. kanji for die. Um, I don't think that's really, weirdly enough, it's a kanji for hashiru. Um, but in this case, it means super wide. It. Officially, it's like excessively wide, sprawling, something like that. So super duper wide. Can you read this for me? Da da biroi, hiroma ga zawai zawasuita. And zawasuita is from. Do you know what zawagu means? Zawa. Zawagu. I don't know. Hi. So, um, zawa tsuku is to be noisy. To make noise. No, to be noisy. Oh, so, to make noise would be something else. Um, this is like this is used to describe locations. So, for example, a room doesn't make noise, but people do make noises in rooms, right? So, if you're in a noisy room, you're not Hi. saying the room's making noise, right? So, what is this saying? It's a the expansively large room space is noisy. Perfect. Was noisy. 
Nice. And can you read this section for me? Uh, arak, mm, right. Arak, araru. Close. Akarui. 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 Basho de miruto. Me wa kuro. Kamito. Ago hige to. Mayu wa. Shirakam, Shiragama, Jirida. So the right place, at the right place that I've saw. Yep. Um. The eye was black. The hair and the facial hair was along with the eyebrows, Mayu, was Shiraga Majirita. Yep. It's a white, it's a graying. Yeah, he has some Majiri. gray hair, some gristled hair, which would be the hair on his eyebrows, <clears throat> his chin, and his hair. Um, you know what yakeni means? Garan toshita machi wa mono oto ga yakeni hibiku. Yake. Yake hibiku. Mm, to, 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 to echo, to say, echoing. Yake ni, what is yake ni? The machi wa. Yota hira wa shi. Do you know what kind of role this sentence. has in the sentence? It was from an earlier sentence, right? Well, yake is ending with ni. Do you have any idea what kind of role it probably has with this particle? So it's describing the action mm -hmm. of it's an adverb. He, he, he be, he, he be, and it's echoing in what way? So, what way so, is it echoing? Yep. So yake ni is sa, awfully sa, or a be, lot. Right? A, yeah, yake bi. Sa, sake bi. Yake bi. No relation, I don't think. Yake ni is awfully. Uh, I'm sorry. Yakeni is awfully, and the word that follow is sak. Uh, it's um, hiku. I'm hibiku. Sorry. Hibiku. So an awfully a lot of something. Yeah, you knew what this was earlier, and you just forgot. What hibiku? Yeah, was? It's suddenly. Because you translated. No, you hibiki. translated to me. You translated hibiki to me five minutes ago. Said well, probably two seconds ago, saying it was echo. Echo, right. And then you're like, a whole okay, lot of so echo. echo. You said it, it echoes yakini. And you're like, huh, what is yakini? <laughs> you're like, what is, what is, what is hibiki? Like, you totally forgot, which is just so funny. Because <laughs> you, you told me what it was. Okay, I'm going to go backwards. Do, 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 do. Um, what does darahiroi mean? Darahiroi. Very big. Nice. How about zawatsuita? Very large, very expensive. Zawatsuita. Noisy. Nice. And can you read this part? Just this one word? Akarui. Perfect. And what does yakeni mean? Yakeni meaning a lot of. Awfully yeah, a lot of. a lot of. of. Perfect. So now you get to go read the line from the book. This is the place in between the two staircases. So, so. The only place it's safe so, to dance. Tori. Odori. To, to, tori. O Odori ba. Odori ba. Odori ba no saki no taidan no shita wa yake ni akaru ku de zawa suita dada Hiroi, 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 uh, 
Bungshiki. No, heya. Heya da. Heya da ta. Heya da ta no da. Odori ba. So, at the, at the under, beneath the stairway that is ahead of the platform, Odori ba. Yake ni araku, akuru, akuru. あかるくてざわあかるくあかるくくてあかるくあかるくくてあかるくあかるくてあかるくてあかるくてあかるくてあかるくてあかるくてあかるくてあかるくてあかるくてあかるくてあかるくてあかるくてあかるくてあかるく
to go forward. You know what the potential form of Susumu is? Susumareru. Perfect. Susumareru. Um, just so you know, there's not a zoo in here. It's susu, susumu, susumareru. Just in case, it's hard to tell when you're we have microphones and stuff. Um, this word right here for crowd started with ol. What did it end with? Ze. Yep, ol ze. Perfect. Can you read this for me? Um. Uh, since there are a, since there are not a crowd of people advance forward yeah keep going in this case probably i advance i i you're right if, if i kept going it ask. could be they but if you don't know the subject just do i the good default one or you could use they doesn't matter you know what ijo means Ijo. I've seen this and I think it's mean furthermore. Yeah. Or more than that. More than that. Basically, it means this is the limit. The E stands for kind of like limit. And then Jo is saying anything above that limit. And this is kind of like making like a topic. So it doesn't mean a lot on its own, I would say, but it has a lot of meaning in context to be like, for example, you hear a lot in anime saying, Kore Ijo, you just say masen or something like that. I'm sorry, my Japanese. Um, but they, that basically means any more than this, I will not forget, forgive you for. I will not forgive any more than this. Um, so you uh, use that in that kind of context, being this, our current thing is a limit, and anything on top of that will not be forgiven. Forgiven. Um, so that's what the E acts as like a limiting thing. So you also will see E guy, for example, which means um, outside of what we've been talking about would be E guy. That'd be the unexpected, the outside of the limit um so i need to do potential form plus negative form with this word right here which is to move forward all right uh, it would then be susumare nai yep susumare nai perfect wait susume ah uh susumare Right? Huh. This does mean you. I Susu... forget grammar. Whatever, read the sentence. Susumenai. Okay. Um, o ze hito ga ite. Kore ijo wa. Oh, we got potential form and passive so form confused here. with each other. I get it. <laughs> okay, I'm going backwards. Do, do, do. So potential <laughs> form I asked for, not passive form. <laughs> we did passive form. <laughs> ah, it's hard because the new verbs are the same. Anyway, so Hi. <laughs> to sue ma nedu is is passive form, and um susu ma sedu is causative form. What would be the potential form of susumu. <laughs> ah, so I've been giving you the passive form. You've been giving basically. me passive form. <laughs> okay. didn't catch it. <laughs> that's my, that's totally my, my idiotacy. Because I, I always get these two forms mixed up. I know it. Um, so tsutsume. So, so, tsutsume. tsutsume. But you have to add redo there. Susumeru? Yep. If you didn't have the do, then now it's in order. Susume! Kelly's like, you better go forward. So susumeru. Yeah. Potential form. Yep. Edu is potential form. So how would you put it in passive negative form? We would have susumenai. Yep, susumenai. Wow, who would have thought it? Susumenai. <laughs> okay, so hi. let's go read that actually the live. Hi, 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 hi. Hi. Um, oze hito ga ite. Kore ijo wa susumenai. The crowd of people 
there is okay so there is a crowd of people and further than that actually further than this more than this right. we can, we cannot go any further than this perfect yep so that's you there's know a what? crowd of people yep there's a crowd of people so we can't really go any further than this because te is and with a little bit of a so positive kind of like because kind of way it's not like an aggressive because kind of like no day but just a little bit so if you said uh oh he got e <laughs> never gonna see that hi to get the stem form in there would be i possible. i i think i have the con I think I have the conceptualization in my head. So basically, um, the lang the grammar allow for a degree from correlation to causation. So there's a spectrum of from correlation to causation, whereas mm -hmm. te is more towards the side of correlation. Yeah. And as you increase the the levels of confidence basically mm -hmm. you go from te to no de meaning that there's more possibility that there's a connection between these two there's a causative relationship and then yeah. if you go all the way to to you are now definitely for sure that this is there's a strong connection between mm -hmm. what's happened between this clause and the following clause Tots. exactly yep yeah cause is the 100 percent i would say below to would be the tada um and nada kind of section of grads and eba eba I'll put that in there which mean eba these, which these mean are like it these just are, basically say yeah. these things occurred together but they right. might not be so these they are correlated. three things do mean correlated and they're kind of aggressively correlated but they don't have to be a hundred percent correlated toll means this will always happen. Five plus five will always equal 10. The other ones, there can be more right. opinionated um, cause and effect relationships like, oh, if Bob goes to the party, then I'll go as well. That's not a uh, 100% a fact of the universe. That is an opinion. I'll go if Tom goes or whatever, or Sam goes. That would be nada. That is a personal opinion. Tada is like a a uh, single occurrence of something a lot of times like oh when summer comes i'll go to japan that'd be tada and eba can be used for all three of all of those but it kind of like if you use it instead of for nada it feels a little bit more generic less personable and if you use it with tada it feels less like one time like it's like a weird like guy that kind of can be used in any context almost but it does have its own like littleish meaning but yeah, to, to is like the most aggressive. So that's why you see to a lot in the past because things that happened in the past always happened. There, There's no changing the past. But if you're talking about the future, it has to be some kind of right. like law kind of. So that's how, that's then, how it gets the immediate then, after. And then meeting. next to that, you wrote... Yep. Next to that, Mona, you wrote kara and no de, right? Yeah, kara. So no de to earlier. is like cuz. I'd say kata is on the same area as like um, nada and tada, like the same level of con conditional, but it's a different kind of conditional, right? So the other ones are when and kata is because. When slash if. Hi. So they're they're a little bit different here. So this right here is on like the so spectrum. So so it's first it's and, then it's a little bit like te, then it's no de, and then it hits kata, I would say would be that um connection so but then you can you can definitely get tada in with here which tends to be more of like a poetry way to be like if there what's it if if there's flowers and there's also um bugs or something to mean there are flowers and bugs but it's not really cuz yeah, the they're all they're all related, but a little bit different. But yeah, that's that's a good way of thinking that about that guy. Okay, perfect. So I cannot go any further than here because there's people. Uh, do you know what butsukaru means? Hi. Uh, butsukaru. So I feel like it's hitting something again. It is. Butsu. Yep. Perfect. Do you know what a hone is? Hone is a fist, right? That's a good guess. That's kubu. Oh, kubushi. hone is bone. Hone is bone. Yep. Um, can you read this word for me? 
50 guess, 50 50. What do you think this guy is? It's Kin. Yeah, good guess. Kin, Kinzoku. Do you know what a Kinzoku is? Something to do with gold. Mm -hmm. And Zoku have a roof on top. Maybe a door. Maybe a. I don't know what that final kanji something. means. I like it. I think it, it's not the kanji for family. But for me, when I look at this word, it makes me think of family. So it is a family? It's golden, golden something? Yeah, gold family. What do you think is the family of gold? Family of gold is... Hmm. Money, maybe? No. Good guess. It's Coins? it's metal. Right? <laughs> gold is a metal. metal. So the family is is metal. Um, Zoku officially is a uh, genus or generic, apparently. She's interesting. Gen but, yeah. A genus, right? Like a whole group of, a whole species of things. Probably. Right? So, yeah. So the species like of all the gold. dogs, all the categories of dogs. Are canines. The species of gold. Got it. So, so, so. Which would be metals. So iron and stuff. Metals. Do, do, do. Can you read this right. for me? Butsukari au, Perfect. the meeting of the exchange. Yes. The mutual exchange of uh, fists, of, right? Well, butsukari is just to be slammed into. So this could be a slamming of fists. But the main thing is that two things are slamming into each other with this ow. Mutual slamming going on. Hi. So for metal, Butsukari. it started with keen. What did it end with? Zoku. Perfect. Can Genus. you read this for me? Yep. Hai. Kinzoku to hone ga utsukari ata. And ata here is past tense of ao. Hai. So the bones and the metals, they, they, they smash into each other. Perfect. Nice. So now you get to go read the line from the book. Kachin. Kachin to iyu. Kinzoku to. Kinzoku to. Kinzoku to. Kinzoku ga butsukari au. Oto ga shita. Hi. So look, look, look at the ending of things. Hmm. hmm what does this tell us? Au. It's in the dictionary form. It is a dictionary form. So it's... Is that where... Is that... It's what? modifying... It's modifying the subsequent noun. Yes. So, so, so. It's following yes. noun. The verb is modifying the noun. Yep. So it is the noun. It's, it's the... It's the... Uh, oto, oto is the sound, right? Oto. Yep. So with the shita, literally it is sound is doing, but we say there was a sound of what? What sounded here? There was a sound of the smashing together of metal on metal, mm -hmm. and it makes the sound of kaching kaching. Kaching kaching. Perfect. Um, can you read this for me? Hagurma. Hi, so this is an exciting word. These are ha gears. Yeah, these are gears. Ha guruma. We got kuruma for car and ha for teeth. So the teeth of the cards are the Hi. gears. Ha guruma. What did it start with? Ha. Perfect. Ha guruma. Can you read this for me? One second, Mari. It's loading. Haguruma ga itsuita kikai. 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 Kikai is a machinery. Yep. Uh, Karaguruma gears suita is attached. Yep. So the gears. They are attached to the machines. Perfect. The machine with gears attached to them. Nice. 
And right now it is our halfway point. So I'm going to stop our meeting and I'll see you in two seconds.